The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I figured we needed an applause right out of the gate. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Right, right. I do love applause. Absolutely. Much uh, like Lady Gaga. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent comedians. First, he is the only one out of us that is continuing to try and be a stand-up comedian. I, well, I guess JP is too. But please welcome back the very funny Mr. Mike Baldwin. hey Howdy. Uh, howdy, buddy. And next, he is the best DEI hire of all time, so we can make gay jokes and not get canceled. Please welcome the very gay, Mr. JP. Yeah. Just try and cancel us. Just try. We'll show you. Oh, I man. never really I never really thought of it that way, but <laughs> yeah, that is pretty true, I, I guess. I'll either. have my gay lawyers all over you, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll film it, and we'll make money on it. Yeah. You're, it's funny to imagine your lawyers being gay also, <laughs> well, and everybody else that you interact with in your life. Like, they, you, like you only go to like a gay oh, dentist. for sure. Like, would you choose you a gay you dentist? You don't only go to straight businesses and straight dentists and i don't think about it i don't know oh, well, but i, I guess, do i guess i would say if i went in and and everybody was like super gay <laughs> i'd be like uh <laughs> just 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 Dancing. as you walk welcome. in welcome it would depend on what the store was we hear you're here for a root canal can you imagine walking through a door and you know how they normally have a regular ding but instead you walk in and I, that would kind of be nice, actually. <laughs> yeah, kind of, I dig it. I would totally love every bit of it. But. Who has a business? Let's let's start this. <laughs> let's, do, let's do this. Or do like uh, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, like the doors are sentient. They're like oh, AI doors, so yes. they, and they enjoy opening for people. So yeah. when they open, they go, oh, because <laughs> the door's I, I, just I mean, like, I'm, fuck yes, I get to open. <laughs> That's what I do when I open my door, too. <laughs> I'm so gross. When I open my door, I go, oh. <laughs> no. I don't want to no. fucking go. Uh, anyways. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If you have not listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, but not really anymore because this is a comedy show. And we like to make inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend a lot of people that have thin skin. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Thank you and good fucking bye. All right. So, Fuck. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Balls. Whore. We have a, yeah, yeah all of that stuff. Bitch. Yeah, uh, why, might as well. Cunt! That's my favorite. Oh, oh yeah. my come, on, man. Yeah. come on, man. Come on. My grandma's listening. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> is she? <laughs> is she really? I, in, That'd be awesome. Unless I'm holding my phone up playing it for her, then uh, no, yeah, probably okay. not. That's fair enough. But well, maybe I will just to, what is that called? Meta or whatever? Like where it's like. Oh, that's geez. like the thing that you said about the thing, and now you're doing the thing. Absolutely. Well, anyway. la ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another episode. Uh, we've got a great episode for you today, but we're going to do something pretty different. Uh, and we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. So um, for a very, very long time, we've pretty much stuck with the exact same outline and do it every single episode. And uh, it feels the same. It feels the already. same. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Do yeah. you feel different, Mike? Uh, no, I don't feel. I don't feel different at all. I don't feel anything. Okay. Mike doesn't feel a, a large amount of time. No, he's oh. just numb all over the place. That's What's cool. it called? Anadonia. Yeah, <laughs> where it's like, yeah, I need to acknowledge that that's probably fun for you guys. Yeah. I just find no joy in it whatsoever. <laughs> so, so the whole idea, and 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 I give a lot of credit to JP and Jeremy uh, for having this idea, but for the longest time, we've had the same exact outline. We have you know segments and shit, and that's always question answer 
answer questions, answer questions, answer. And I liked that for a while because that was a really easy way to get like TikTok clips and shit like that. And but the thing that sucked is, is that we really weren't having a conversation and I just kept on finding myself cutting you guys off and trying to yeah, move on. Fucking tell me about it. And yep. it sucks. It really fucking sucks. I don't want to do that anymore. I think we're we're experienced now to the point where we don't really have to have too much of an outline. But when you're around a bunch of comedians having a conversation, it's kind of like hurting cats. You guys go off on fucking tangents and shit like that, but I want that to be a part of the show from but this point on. But that's the thing. If you just let yeah. us go, we'll come back when you're ready, when we're ready yeah, to Yeah, exactly, fed. exactly. So for too long, I've been the fucking like rodeo clown and all of this horse shit, and I guess I'm just not going to do it anymore. I have right? no... No. I have no faith in my ability to... To come back. To wing it. And <laughs> to wing it. <laughs> so that's what... Script. I've before seen we, your crowd work. You're full of shit. Before we hit record, <laughs> Scotty was like, we're going to just... Uh, you know, make it a little looser. Yeah, like just literally wing it a little walking bit. down to the studio. And I was like, like by wait, the way. what? <laughs> I have to come up with stuff now? Yeah, you got to come the up the top of my head. Some but that's, the- I've seen comments before. That no matter what change you make to the show, somebody's going to be like, what the fuck? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Do it the old way. Because I've seen yeah, comments of people being like, oh, the second Mike starts talking, I'm like, geez, I know it's going to be two minutes before he shuts up. <laughs> Yeah, no. Which reminds me of the time when I was a boy. <laughs> I was a young boy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, so we're going to have a lot more fun. It's just going to be a lot looser, which uh, is awesome. We can do this shit. Yeah. When, yeah, yeah. It's like it's going to be like we'll JP list. Over here. Yeah. Hey, I'm two months behind on all my bills. Hey, <laughs> my we're phone a good got time. cut off yesterday. Hey, hey, don't try and text me. I won't get it. Long story short, we're just going to have a little bit more fun. But that does mean that a lot of the questions that a lot of people suggest, there's just going to be less of them. We're yeah. still going to have the same segments. We still have uh, Never Have I Ever, That's Where I Draw the Line, Questions in Perguntas, The Draft, and it's always a shitty situation. But we kick every single episode off with what has happened to us over the last couple of weeks. And I know JP has a story. So we are not going to start with JP this week. Watch oh. out. Look We're the fucking fuck shaking out. it up, people. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go first this week, Scotty? Yeah, good idea. That's actually probably a good idea. It because is a good idea. Let's hear about your week. I you didn't give a fuck. I didn't do a lot. I golfed yesterday. Or, uh, yeah, I golfed yesterday. I played probably the worst game of golf I've played since I started golfing. That makes me so happy. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I like when you struggle yeah, in life. I do, too. Did I, you see? I saw a clip of a guy who hit... Uh, his ball into a puddle. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And when he loses his fucking yeah. shit, yeah. he's just like, all of this open space, and my fucking <laughs> ball lands in this two foot by two foot. <laughs> fucking... And it's down the middle of the fairway. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the actual rule is, if that does occur during a actual golf round, you get what's called a free drop because yeah. that is not part of the course. Right. So the funniest part about it is that he ended up losing his shit and still tried to hit the ball whenever he could have literally gone in there, picked up the ball, and had a perfect shot after that. So, But that's beside the point. I think it was more fun the way he did it. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't get upset about golf the way some people I know do. Hey. Is, He's I, those just are there fighting for the words. joy of the game. Those are fighting words. I just, so, I just like to mock. I bet sports. he wasn't fucking killing all the native grass Fuck either. You, I know. Mm-hmm. That's poor blades. Oh, I know. Poor if, blades if, of grass. If people wouldn't have killed the grass, there wouldn't be a puddle there in the first fucking place. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but no, I, I I did golf. I did play terribly. Like you remember in Happy Gilmore, where he ends up in a sand trap and he keeps on swinging at the golf over ball, and, uh-huh. and he just keeps on missing it. So I I did in, end up doing that on the first hole. I was I was in the bunker and I was really close to the green. I was just off the green inside of a bunker, and I do what's called a flop shot, right? And that's where the ball goes straight up. And, yeah, no, not with your dick. Quit. Quit taking it there, you son of a bitch. Yours flops? Yes. I doubt it. I take a Mine pee- just kind of goes bing. <laughs> <laughs> I take a piss in a urinal and put my hands in my pocket. That's what I do. Not a kid. Yeah. Uh, but no, I was doing a flop shot out of the uh, out of the bunker, and it did exactly what you don't want to happen. And that is straight up and came straight, straight up back down. And straight back down. Yeah. And then I tried it again, and it went 12 inches in front of me, and guess what? Rolled right back down into the bunker. So huh. I, I had a terrible, 
terrible fucking day. I played at a place uh, that's actually kind of a well-kept secret in Kansas. It's actually in Hutchinson, and it's called uh, Crazy Horse. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a good golf course. Uh, very that's difficult. That's insane. Uh, yeah, it is. It's kind of crazy. It's very difficult. Yeah. That make you, is that, you're just Do saying that because talk? you pulled so bad. Nah, no, I, no. I mean, golfed. Yeah, you yeah, I golfed. Terribly. Golfed. Oh, you I, bowled. Yeah, I didn't. Too. I didn't bowl. I, I don't. Bowl. You should have bowled, dude. Bowling's way cooler than bowling golf. requires <laughs> goofy pants and a fat ass, and I don't participate. I don't have a fat Doesn't ass golf and require goofy pants? And yeah, one hundred percent. Of course it does. Bowling requires nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Is there I've a? Seen, it doesn't even require. As a matter teeth. of fact, they take the retarded kids bowling. <laughs> All, all the, the time. time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what clothes do I wear to bowling? It's like, don't mm. even worry about it. As a matter of fact, we're going to take your shoes <laughs> yeah, and here. give you other <laughs> try shoes. Because <laughs> even if you try to dress right for this, it's going to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and they give you the shittiest shoes on the face of the fucking planet that smell like asshole from the other person who just used them, by the way. I don't smell them. Uh, well, you yeah, don't? I was just getting ready to say. I keep my face that's away weird. from you Why would you your smell own shoes? them? Huh? Why would you smell it's them? It's not like I'm sniffing them. I can just smell them when they're on the floor. Scotty gets his shoes. No. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you damn right he does. Uh, oh, 100%. You do it. I don't like <clears> it, <throat> man. You were talking about golf. Is there a, a, Do you get penalized in golf if you just pick the ball up and go, all right, fuck it, and yes. just kind of throw it forward? <laughs> Only yes. if somebody sees you do it. <laughs> yeah. I, but I think that should be, you should lose like two swings or something if you're just like in a fuck it spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. One just to be like, swings. fuck it, and just throw yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, you know, one swing. Yeah, one swing, two swings. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's Harry Potter. Yeah, like, Harry Potter, just like, ah. I saw a video the other day that was uh, Harry Potter, but with guns. Oh, so yes. So they took every time they had a wand and oh, made a yeah. gun in their hand. Yes. And it was just pretty funny, just people shooting themselves <laughs> in the head. Oh. and I fucking love guns. Hermione's making the feather float, and it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there was that, yes. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, I watched uh, a new series that's out on TikTok, and if you haven't, I really encourage you to do so. Tires. Tires uh, with Shane you Gillis. You oh, said TikTok. Did I say yeah. TikTok? I'm you sorry. Did. I meant Netflix. Uh, but yes, Shane Gillis came out with a series, which apparently has already confirmed that they're going to have a second season. Have you guys watched Tires yet? No. no. I will say this. It is funny. However. But. Did they it's tone not it down? that funny. Did they make him tone it down? No. 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 Uh, Shane Gillis plays Shane Gillis. Yeah. Uh, Stavi plays Stavi, uh, like uh, or Stavro. You know who Stavro is, okay? Uh, it's it's okay. Mm. You know, I was expecting like the Gillian Gillian Keys, right. or, you know that right. shit. Um, it wasn't. wasn't uh, that, huh? It wasn't that. Eh. Yeah, it was still great. I still I still liked it. It just you know I thought I, my expectations were super fucking high. <laughs> Didn't. It was still great, but you know it wasn't. It wasn't. Like, yeah. Then just say people it wasn't. want shows to change their lives, yeah, and right. when they don't, they're like, "I was disappointed." Yeah. It's still funny. Did There's you watch th Dune Two? No, Ugh. I refuse. I've never seen Dune One. Same. It's really. I enjoyed the shit out of it. It's well, a. It's good a, for you. It's a really good book, classic book about planets and politics and um, killing and war and shit like that those are all of your favorite things and they made it, it into <laughs> badass movies yeah where like every scene is is art dude yeah. i fucking yeah it came out on hbo in the last week or so and i watched that some bitch it was good <laughs> it was good i was the first time in in a long time that i was like i'm gonna wait until the sun goes down so i can fully and appreciate oh, yeah. the screen yeah i get it seems no. like nerd shit to yeah, me it totally it's is absolutely nerd. nerd shit nerd shit is the best our, they, our people they love that huh we got Dude, a lot of nerds i'm not even gonna fucking lie you know how jeremy last week made the joke that everybody who listens to our show doesn't have a job it's probably true. Do you know what the like number one like occupation that the people that listen to this show ha like what their job is? Stripper. No. What? No. It's truckers. Oh uh, yeah. Well, that truckers. Makes sense. No, it, truckers right. can be strippers. Uh, That's they, true. I mean, they can. Uh, but no. 
Uh, uh, Tyler, oh. I, I want to say, hold on one second. No, I'm bringing a load in. Fuck, if you know I what I mean. <laughs> but no, I get I get messages all the time, and and there was a trucker. and he would tell you who they're from, but he's not obviously that fucking concerned about it because he never writes it down. Oh, he never no. screenshots I, it. I do too. I he starts talking about this this person, and then then he's like, oh, I don't remember their name. I feel like if people want their name mentioned, they'll be like, will you say my name yeah, on the show? Uh, no, it was Brian Ward. Okay, Brian now Ward. Trucker. Now Brian Ward's going. No, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't do it. say it. Uh, but no, but like a majority of people that listen to us, I, I, I've I've found it because we have so many truckers that listen to us on the road. I mean, that makes sense because they're I, probably listening to a lot of podcasts. Absolutely, but I channel their inner like road rage because I follow truckers all the time that are sitting there just talking shit whenever the dumbass drivers are out on the road. I understand your pain. I really do. And thank you for listening to the show. We sincerely do appreciate all you truckers out there. Also, truck, also. you know what? Truckers, they love a good lot lizard. <laughs> yeah. And, they, uh, okay. What's that? Like just a chick? Most usually a dude. <laughs> oh. Well, then. But, Brian, Brian, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not calling you out, but do you? Yeah, man. Have you ever got your dick sucked by a dude? Just be honest. And it, and was it better? <laughs> be honest. No, it don't, was. No, I guarantee it was. Why? I don't. Lie. Deny. I don't deny. Think deny. I ever have. Uh, no, I never have. <laughs> These days, who, who can never, tell? You don't know anymore. Uh, uh, but the last while thing, while she's sucking and you're just feeling around down there, like she's like, <laughs> right. or, or I just convince myself that it's a trans no, woman, right. yeah. so I'm like, no, it's a, it, or it's an actual woman, so it's yeah, it's I'm fine. fine. I saw a, I saw it's a got like very a jeans and a. I, I saw a very t-shirt. true like uh, I saw a very true meme today, and I and I and I didn't mean to mention it, but I'm glad you guys brought this particular topic up. In the 1980s, chicks used to have a full bush. In the oh, 1990s, yeah. they had a landing strip. In mm-hmm. the 2000s, they had nothing. Yeah. And in 2024, guess what they have? A, a huge cock. bush. Oh. <laughs> a cock. That's what they have. And yeah, I miss the good old days. I, just, I, miss, I miss the, the good, good old days. Full bush. I would much rather prefer a full bush than a cock. Well, uh, so anyways. I, but I would rather prefer, I, I would take shaved <laughs> well yeah i don't want any thing oh man have you ever had a, a brazilian that's what is like the wax no, no like yeah shit not shaved is one thing but brazilian is a whole new different fun time yeah that's true it's equal to catching a chick on day one of after, her shaving exactly but the but day 14 after the wax is equal to day two of the shaving fair yeah <laughs> so it's it stays cool longer right oh jesus I, christ dude Where i'm did having we go wrong i'm having so much fun right now i can already tell this is going to be a great show uh but the last thing that i wanted to mention was last uh last week we were talking about um uh, jake paul and the mike tyson fight and i had uh uh, some uh, well, I I watched the episode because I have to edit it and find clips and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I watched it, and there were a couple of times to where I like fucking started punching myself in the face because I was like, "Oh, dude, you misspoke. Oh, fuck, you said you said something wrong there." And what'd you say? We are not fucking sports experts. First oh, of all, I mean, I am, but uh, uh, time out. What? Speak for yourself. Okay. I fine. am a bowler. Yeah, that's true. Tell okay. me, ask me anything about sports. And I'll, <laughs> yeah, I don't know the answer. I'll give you a logical answer. So I had no idea. I I got called out by a, a superhuman douchebag. But uh, the first thing that he said was, I didn't realize this, but Jake Paul is actually younger than Logan Paul. I did not know that. Jake Paul looks significantly older. Uh, but uh, the other thing, and, and it pissed me off, and nobody even commented about it, but I went through and I watched the episode, and I called Tyron Woodley Tyson Woodley because I was talking about Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, it just it gave me cringe because I was like, oh, fuck, dude, you misspoke about like a, a, like something that I really like is the fucking UFC. I love MMA. If That's I, my shit. If I knew that you made the mistake, I would be like, you mean Tyrone. Yeah, Tyron. But no, it's know. not even Tyrone. It's Tyron. Tyron uh, Woodley. Well, then I'm the I bigger mean, asshole, yeah. I guess. It's yeah. Tyrone. <laughs> Let's be honest, <laughs> Let's man. Be honest. It's Tyrone. Yeah, yeah if you have It to, started with Tyrone. You can call if him you're, Tyrone. If you pronounce you your name him. differently than it's spelled, then it's spelled wrong yeah but <clears throat> every once in a while listen we make a whole bunch of mistakes but the and thing 
it, go fuck yourself, go, man. Go fuck yourself. I mean, at that point, <laughs> like, we're not in here doing... We don't work for fucking ESPN, you think number one. You fact-checking any yeah, of this exactly. shit? Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing. We don't give a shit. We're just kind of spitballing, and, and that's what this whole show is about. Logan's younger. Yeah, so, or older. Sorry. What's Lo- he older? Logan's older. Uh, who gives a fuck? And he's... Just, he's I mean... And the other thing is, is I'd rather I, fuck I, Logan. I still think Mike Tyson's going to beat the fucking shit like out him. of yeah, Jake Paul. So, sure. I, and I and I stand by that. And somebody told me I didn't know what I'm talking about with, with fighting. And guess what? I know a shitload about fighting. I, I say just whoever said somebody. that comes up to the show and you fight them. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And we'll yeah, film yeah. it. So, but anyways, that was my week. I, I will move. I, I will uh, so the, s- submit the, my time. The Paul parents had a kid and named it Logan. Yeah, and then they had a second kid and named it Jake. Jacob, sure. Um. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. They're very good. Way to, way to way chime to, in there, Mike. Way I, just, get I feel like Logan is more of like a wild name than Jacob. Well, the, is Logan in the Bible? These are fucking YouTube personalities yeah. that their, I don't not give their a parents. shit about. They weren't YouTube personalities when they were named. Yeah, I want to know what true. what the hell's going on in their I, parents' head. I don't know. They're probably crazy. Like my but, older sister is named Michelle because my uh, parents Michael. wanted to name a kid after my dad named Michael. Ah. And then they had me and they were like, fuck yeah, now we can finally do it. So I, I always it. I always threw that in my sister's face. Like I, they wanted a boy sense. and they had you instead. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I'm sorry. One last thing. Everybody out there, uh happy Memorial Day weekend. Oh yeah. I'm wearing the happy. United States of America yeah, happy Memorial jersey. Day. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Do you say Day. happy or yeah, do, do you, you just, uh, no because it's really not. No, it's not. It's actually a um, sad day. Yeah. I mean it's but we're honoring But since we're in America, we decided <laughs> fuck the dead people. Let's, let's barbecue let's barbecue and go to the pool and fucking yeah, man. Exactly. Thank you for the day go off the from lake work. And we get a day off from work. So we're just gonna party and I no. mean it's part of the freedom that the soldiers gave us. Absolutely. They I, gave us the right they to gave us the right to barbecue. Yeah, they're yeah. like drink. Don't, it's like a, when your friend dies or your dad or whatever, when he's like, Hey, when I'm gone, you know, don't only think about the good times. Like so we're just celebrating. They barbecued a lot during World War II. <laughs> Some of them got barbecued. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of outdoor uh, cooking going on. So uh, that's what I think of when I'm wow. when I'm flipping those burgers. I'm like, man, I'm glad. That Thinking I, about POWs getting barbecued. I'm, Holy fuck! Oh, that's great. That's not. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, just, you didn't. It sounded it like sure it. Sounded like I, it. I was thinking like in Forrest Gump when uh, Lieutenant Dan's like, "And we got steaks on the grill over there. Go ahead and help yourself." <laughs> oh my goodness. Keep your socks dry. But yes, happy happy <laughs> Memorial Day weekend to everybody that's out there. Especially thank you very much to all the troops that uh, you know make the uh, the sacrifice of uh, doing all that stuff. That's uh, yep. Thank you for the extra day off uh, for the Do week. You guys I, have- I did not. I uh, I did not join the military yeah. but my roommates did and that's why i have some fucking phenomenal stories uh but uh but yeah it over the over the memorial day weekend i did want to give a shout out to somebody who i i, I didn't even know existed and i know he's very popular but I have a new fucking like rock hard erection for patriotism kind of right now because of a guy named the Fat Electrician. Do you know who that is? I do not know who the Look Fat Electrician is. Look him the is. fuck up. He he tells a lot of stories that are like war related or military related, of, and it's the history that is that should be taught in school. It's like the fun part of history yeah. that they don't teach you, and he tells them very, very beautifully, and it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, go and check him out. So my hats off to the fat electrician. He's awesome. Noted. But Scotty, yeah. what? You're not wearing a hat. I am not wearing a hat. I, yeah, no, that's why my fancy. hat my hat is off today. You do have to, fancy hair today. To all of those who serve, I appreciate all of you guys. Your hair's looking good today, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it. No problem. I uh, shaved my head. Does today. it look gay? No, it doesn't. Thanks, JP. Appreciate it, buddy. Did you say it does? <laughs> Fuck oh. yeah, he's gonna I say mean, it. I, I, Let's be honest. <laughs> your hair is is fixed the way my hair would be fixed Thank if you. I had hair to awesome. fix. Yeah, of course. What? That's oh, how I would look. Shut in up, JP. My <laughs> freshman. He has the same haircut as like a fourteen-year-old Latino boy. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. And that's pretty gay. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Just saying. All right, fine, fine. JP, how was your fucking week? You piece of shit. Better now that I've seen your gay ass haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Uh, good man. Um, 
Went and uh, went to a buddy's uh, 50th birthday party. A couple of my buddies are okay. have birthdays in the next week or so. and So they do the poor thing where they all just celebrate one time? So everybody gets to blow out a candle on the fucking cake. That's a poor thing? Yes. Like, like in Cinderella, man? No, they did that in the fucking, like, the hardest times of the United States, the Great Depression. So we, Yeah, like, that was Cinderella, just, man. Yeah, Cinderella, We just man. like to have a reason to get together, and oh. so we were going to, ju- we just barbecued it. We did our Memorial Day weekend nice. deal, and it was okay. their birthdays coming up, so we celebrated their birthdays. Is that so fucking hard to understand, man? Yeah, but it wasn't Memorial Day, Why so it's not, real. It's, it's, it's not real. real. No, it's not real. It's not real, No, it's not. You failed. You, you guys, fucking failed. You guys talking about Cinderella, man? Yeah, I yeah. fucking love yeah. that movie. Yeah. yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, so uh, went over there last night, and <laughs> my one buddy is fucking sitting out in the fucking storm. Oh, giving yeah. it to Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Is this all you've got? Yeah. Yes. Fucking stood out there the whole fucking time. Yes. Fucking sideways rain, and he's out there just fucking <laughs> screaming at the fucking sky, dude. It but was, he knows what weather does yeah. in Wichita. It was, like, yes. Have oh, you guys, it was awesome. Have you seen World War Z? No. Oh, yeah. Like, I, re- I refuse. Wichita oh, is good. like a sick kid from World War Z, Like, and the weather is the zombies. They're just coming right towards us, and then it just bloop yep. goes right around goes right us. around us it did yeah no World but we War did Z's we good. we had uh, a pretty good storm last night yeah. and uh well i mean it was it good. was supposed to be it was supposed somebody to be. said dvd size hail and <laughs> okay first of all <laughs> first of all grapefruit the fuck? let's just let's, it's, can we say grapefruit that's grapefruit Please. size yes. i mean the logic is there if you take a grapefruit and cut it in half the dvd would be the same <laughs> diameter <laughs> At, but that's not. I'm imagining like Chinese stars, like, right? Of, that's what I'm of thinking. Glass, ice, just fucking. Have you ever thrown fucking, a DVD, dude? One hundred percent. Oh yes, it could. It really just could. sticking in the sides yeah, of buildings right. and yes. chopping people in half. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good God. But yes, we did have a have a pretty good storm. I, I still think it's absolutely hilarious because uh, I have a neighbor. Uh, he's not a neighbor. He's across the street, but he's from California, and. They are terrified. Since of when is across the street not your neighbor? I, I well, I, nah. it's just not it's next your door. Yeah, it's a neighbor. He's in your door, neighborhood. But he's but, a neighbor. But he's from California, and so he moved here maybe like three or four years ago. Never like actually been in a tornado situation. Oh, so he's freaking out. Oh, terrified! Like yeah. Dude, it's so that's fucking that's hilarious. How I feel in California. Oh, those God. people are <laughs> fucking awesome. Dude. <laughs> they are so funny. Oh, they're so funny. They're like, should we go to the basement? Yeah, should we go and to you're the like, basement? No. The, no. Yeah, the no. best is when that. That siren goes off and oh, they look yes. at you and they're like, <laughs> like is it time <laughs> yeah, is this, yeah. is this like, the oh, one no. that that hardly means anything and oh yeah it's all like, they see is twister oh in their yeah, mind. yeah you know what i mean like he is freaking the fuck oh, out and he's awesome. just like, he's just like uh, like oh my god this is absolutely ridiculous and and, <laughs> and like tra- tree limbs are falling out of the trees yeah. and he's just kind of like checking me like you good, well, are, you are, good? Are, are you good i haven't seen him run away when yet. you freak out is when i freak <laughs> out <laughs> it's how it works <laughs> But anyways, I'm sorry, JP. Continue with your week. No, it's good, man. No, I'm it's having this fun. This is what we're supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, this is what we're uh, supposed to do. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, so your your car fucked up. I my car fucked up again, yeah. and uh, I took it to my mechanic, who's a really good friend of mine. Hooks yeah. me up all the time. Yeah. His name's Scooter McFuckstick. Yeah. And uh, I was losing antifreeze again. Fucking, I couldn't figure it out because I'm not mechanical. So I took it in and JP, I think, could count on his hands, like at one hand, how many times he's popped the hood of his of his car. Oh and, yeah. And he, and when he pops the hood, he, he's like, I'm gay. I don't know what it any of takes this means. me a minute. And then when I pop the hood, I'm like, Yep, looks like a motor. <laughs> looks like that could be an engine. Yeah. So uh, I pop my hood hundreds of times. Oh yeah. When I get my oil changed, and they're like, Can you pop the hood, please? Oh yeah. But you're I'm straight. Like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and now change that oil, because then I'll sit here and smoke in my car. Yeah, he was uh, he he was losing antifreeze. His the hose to his degas bottle was just just came undone. So I put the fucker. My degas hose came undone, man. Yep. It's cool at reservoir. Cool at reservoir. That. Whatever. I thought I knew it was going to happen sooner or later, but I thought later. And he cracks. That sounds like a pickup line. Yeah, probably. Like, hey, how's about me and you go back to your place and you can loosen my <laughs> degas hose? <laughs> sounds good to me. 
<laughs> but but the funny thing is, is that like JP will call me and tell me the issue that he's having. He's like, dude, my car's overheating. But whenever I'm driving, it doesn't overheat. But when I'm at a stoplight, it fucking overheats. I'm like, oh, uh, you've lost all of the coolant in the fucking car. And it's just kind of funny because that wasn't wrong. No, I, I know. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, but I would have known that, too, because I had that in a vehicle. Absolutely. Once. Yeah. And, and like the wind when you're driving cools the engine off. So yeah. that's why it doesn't overheat when you're driving. <laughs> so I told him, I said, I said, OK, right. go and buy fucking antifreeze and fill it the fuck up and then uh, come and see me tomorrow. So and, and I said, and let me know, by the way, if it's actually empty, because if it's not empty, we have a completely different problem. Right. And he uh, just never texted me, never called me back. He just shows up the next day, and he and I go, hey, uh, was it empty? And he's like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, it was fucking empty. I'm like, okay, thank God. But it ten- turned out to be a very simple fix. Wasn't that big of a deal. But, but is, there's a leak in it then, right? There was. It's not anymore. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's been taken care of. It just needed to have a hose reconnected, and he was perfectly fair and fine. I, and I saw. I remember in on an episode of MacGyver where he had a leak in his radiator, and he took an egg and cracked it and put it in oh, there. Oh, put it on like there? Oh, yeah. The seal on there that would be a very disgusting egg to eat but uh but and oh and the best part about it is obviously when jp comes and get gets uh, his vehicle worked on i'm naturally going to provide him with a vehicle to drive in the meantime mm. and so uh, naturally the vehicle that i provided has apparently a fucking like paint screen where Hell you can yeah. draw shit on the screen hmm. and naturally While jp you're driving uh, apparently no it cuts it off while you're driving you have <laughs> okay. to be stopped so okay. i literally pulled over on the side of the road right before i got there and drew it <laughs> he fucking <clears throat> he pulls in and he's like hey man i got a gift for you i'm like what and he walks me out to the rental car that i provided and it's a touch screen and it's just, just a big fucking dick on the goddamn touch screen so i'm like oh naturally it was Great. a tracing it, yeah a i'm tracing. sure it was yeah but the funniest part about it that i haven't even told jp about but whenever he did finally leave in his own vehicle um, there was a coworker who walked into my office and immediately goes, holy shit. And I go, what? And he goes, are you fucking blazed out of your goddamn mind right <laughs> now? And I'm like, no. And he goes, dude, your office smells like absolute. Because my reefer. backpack was in there. And I'm like, I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah. JP just got like here. And so I, do everything. I open all the doors. <laughs> I open all the garages just to try to get all of the weed smoke the out fuck? of the I would have just been like, yeah, a customer fucking... <laughs> No, but I just like I'm. But the customer's gone. It's like leaving a fart, like like farting, and, and then people are, like, people you, are walking. You definitely you did, farted, you did right? it exactly. No, it wasn't so, me. I it wasn't swear. me. Uh, but yeah, so you absolutely reeked the fuck out of my office for a good twenty minutes. Well, Thank you. I, very I, much. I gotta have my backpack. Bro. I, I people that don't smoke weed though think that weed smells stronger than people who smoke weed think it does. Right. Sure, absolutely. Right. But anyway, that's why right. when I got there, I was like, "Does the car smell?" And he goes little bit and i was like yeah because i had my backpack in there all day because i thought i'd have it all weekend yeah so uh-huh. i didn't go home yeah but anyway anyway um, anyway jp go ahead yeah and uh so let's see what else is going on Two oh, i got a big poker game tomorrow night okay i'm excited about that I don't for go. money you want to go no come on man you will take my fucking money that's okay is it like yeah. tournament style yeah or? yeah and how much is it 60. 60 how many people i think probably about 12 that ain't bad hmm. Dude, you can play. That might be the answer to all my problems. <laughs> there you go. What? Yeah, I. What, you have my number, right? Yeah. Text me. I'll text info. you the address and the info, man. You Absolutely. play poker? I like to play some poker. Yeah. yeah. What? I mean, it's all. All right. I'll random go. Random luck. If Mike goes, I'm going. Okay. Okay. If Mike goes, I'm going. I literally am like a thousand dollars behind on, <laughs> <laughs> on my bills. This is like this the, is the way Daddy gets the, paid. This is the ten dollars <laughs> scratch off lottery ticket where Look, I'm like, hey man, this could solve all my problems 100%. right here. Here's what we do: we fucking team up and oh. we go in there uh-huh. and we just fucking kill them. Oh yeah. That's how you do it. It's you stay all, out of my way, I stay out of your way, and we just fucking kill the rest of the table. That's, no, because I... get a rounder these bitches. I am... Pay uh, the man his money. First of all, poker is Don't 90% luck. So if you, Oh, that's not true. It absolutely is no, true, dude. No, it is not no true. No matter how smart or good that's you it. play. You are incorrect, sir. If you're playing poker like that, then I please want you to come play. 100%. See, but that's my thing is now you think that that's how I play. Oh, I know it is. And Mike. Then, and then I won't, yeah. and now you just don't know no. what the fuck Mike, to think. Yeah. JP 
will fucking it is not it's it's not even percent luck dude I, I can't even tell you how many times and it's not it, there dude, is absolutely luck involved yes and and that depends on what cards are in your fucking hand but which it's, is it's, luck well that's the luck part but and the thing, what cards come out you can I would bet represent you, i would i'll you play you heads bluff up me off of a hand i will that play I know you i will play you hand. heads up I'll play you heads up for a hundred bucks. We'll, JP would we'll take both start with ten thousand in chips. I will never look at my two cards, and I'll beat you. Yep, a hundred percent. I won't even look at my cards. Well, then I would just fold every time until I have a good hand, and then I would take your all in, and you would fucking. But lose. I might. I that, probably that's won't when call he has, your, I mean, I. That's when he has aces. Like he's but legitimately you won't know because if you're aces. not looking at him, then you have no idea what you have. I, I've played with JP many, many times, thus proving that it would be 100 percent luck. Uh, there's your chat. Whenever you're ready, buddy. <laughs> I'll Dude, play, I'm like, telling you. Bust them out. I'll I, play I, you right now. I've played poker with JP so many times, and every single time, the only time I've seen JP get pissed or, 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 or get beat is whenever he is on tilt. That is the only time I've ever seen you get beat. I beg your pardon, sir. You I never tilt. tilt. You tilt like a motherfucker. Fucking Derek. Yes, and that is who <laughs> does it. That's who does See, it. It's that's what, but that's what I'm saying, because it's all luck. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's not sometimes, all luck. Sometimes. I, you can bluff people, and you can play smart and whatever, right. but you got to have the card. Dude. Yeah, we don't need any fucking topics for this shit. I, I am yeah. so excited though because you told me there was so a story. There, I'm getting to that okay. right uh, now. All right. Is it a poker story? No. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, okay. nope. So uh the craziest shit happened to me. <laughs> uh you know, Jeremy has that story where a poop. A poop is found in the hallway at work. Well, I'm at work Tuesday morning and my one of the servers comes up and she says, Jason, please come out here to the patio. I want you to see this. And I was like, what? And she's like, I found poop on the patio and it's human. <laughs> <laughs> the poop is human. Yeah. So I <laughs> it's said, human shit. so I go, how do you know it's human? She's like, well, at first I thought it was from a dog. Cause there was a lot of hair in it, but the closer I got, <laughs> it's human. Uh. And I'm like, I don't want to see it. Just go clean it up. She looks at me. She goes, I'm not cleaning it up. <laughs> She's like, you're in charge. You clean it up. And I was like, no. No, you get the lowest person yes. to go clean so, it up. So I went out there, and sure enough, I, there was no doubt in my mind. It's human shit. It was human shit. <laughs> so wait, is it like an open patio, patio? or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, So somebody so just some in the night I'm sure. was like, I got a shit. So then I go, I, I go talk to Chris, and I'm like, hey, man, did you... Watch the video to, uh, he's like, fuck no, I didn't watch <laughs> what? the video. What? I don't want to see it happen. It. I yeah, want to see it 100%. That, and I was like, dude, I'll watch it. Yes, and, I want to uh, see it. It was a homeless woman. Oh, a woman. It was a woman it was that shit. a homeless shit. woman. It was a woman that shit. Why yeah, did so it have hair in it? I do not care to know. Was she eating <laughs> hair? She or, may have been. Or did she, wait. Either that or she has a really, really hairy asshole. <laughs> and some oh of it got God. caught in there. Oh, that's because she probably doesn't have a razor. Hmm. Oh, that's disgusting. It's just this, it's this little oriental lady, and she lives around where where my work is. And the last time I saw her, she was taking a shit in the bushes over by the ice house. Oh, my God. So does she, what's her thing? She just likes to shit she, in public? Or, she just likes to shit in public. Or, sh or her water doesn't work? Maybe her water's Maybe. turned off. Oh no, she's homeless. Ah, so the well, water definitely doesn't work near you. She does live near us. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't live in a house near us, but she does live under a bridge near us. <laughs> she's a troll. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's all acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> so. What's disappointing to me and is she that shit on my patio, <laughs> man. If there was, if I see a pile of human shit, ideally I would see some shitty napkins or toilet paper near the pile. Nope. nope. And I never do. It's always just a lone pile of yep. shit. So I'm like, this person's shit and then just went on <laughs> with their life with a dirty, yep. shitty asshole. Oh my that makes God. me like them less. Yeah, a hundred percent. Let mo like hundred percent. It makes me more mad that they didn't wipe than I am mad that they shit. But what the if they don't have? They didn't have any toilet paper, man. You got to take a sock off or a fucking. <laughs> 
it's probably your only sock. Or do like they do in in uh, the movies when Scoot. you have to like tie a tourniquet around something. You just rip off the bottom half of your shirt. <laughs> no, they do the fucking dog thing. That's you know? what I was saying. Yeah, the dog, just fucking like sitting there on the carpet, just scooting uh. their asshole. Just oh, that's so terrible. Find that's a so puddle cool. or something so you can like get a nature's bidet. Oh nature's bidet, a puddle. <laughs> Find a puddle. It hasn't rained in forever. Find a puddle. Right down I the know. middle what of a fairway of a golf course. <laughs> Just right yeah. down the middle of a fairway. We weren't that far from the river. And <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I would. Uh, it already well, looks like somebody has bedayed their ass in the river <laughs> yeah, several times. Uh, I, I think that, that she has to have a kind of a fetish for it. If she's shitting in, uh, outside somewhere, she has to. Dude, she's homeless. <laughs> I get yeah, it. Yeah, but you can still go can to the still go li- to a library. No, you cannot, and I'll tell you why. Why? Because I let her use the bathroom Because homeless people abuse once. that oh, yeah? privilege. Does she shit in the corner? Nope. Does she shit in the toilet? Nope. Where does she shit? Does she do heroin she and pass shits out in the, in the trash bathroom? can? <laughs> uh. she, she shits in the trash can. And then she locks herself in the fucking bathroom for an hour and a half till you have to call the fire department (laughs) to come get her out. When the fire department gets the door open, she has taken every paper towel and every toilet paper, but she didn't take the roll. Oh. She just just unwound it. And she stuffed it all in her sweatpants. Oh, my God. So she comes out of the bathroom and her sweatpants (laughs) are like fucking huge. (laughs) And it's all my paper towels and all my toilet paper. Which is cool, man. I would have just given it to her if she would have just not locked herself in the bathroom. I can already tell this is going to be the best episode of all time. And so (laughs) the best part of that story is I was on my way out that day. Oh, God. And so I just let her go and then left. And then when I got back to work the next day, Chris was like, bro, if you ever (laughs) let her back in here again. And I was like, what? What, it didn't go good? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's like you knew. See, we uh, we used to be able to just throw people in a van and take them to a hospital. Dude. Yeah, you can't do, you can't that, do that anymore. If you're man. shitting in trash cans and stealing f- anything from a business, right? You should either be in jail or in a hospital. Yeah, yeah. mental facility. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Anyway, anyway, that was JP's week. That's my poop story. Yeah, you get a poop and story. Now I got a, now a poop. You need a poop story. Oh, I've got them. Well, we need to hear about it because as far as I know, Jeremy it, and I are the only ones. I've told it before on the show, and I'll never forget it. Well, I work at a Ford dealership, and so naturally on Black Friday, everybody goes absolutely apeshit to get like the cheapest fucking car that you can possibly buy. And we do a good job and all that other stuff. But anyways, uh, everybody likes to show up at 6 o'clock in the morning and fucking camp out the night before and like stay all day. Well, we get there, and one day... Um, <laughs> We see a dude leaning up against a fucking van, taking a shit no. outside. Oh, dude, it was absolutely disgusting. He's not only on security cameras, he's like blatantly shit. I mean, it's not like he's in between like two cars part. He's like on no. the fucking like front of the car to where you can see him shitting. And I'll never forget it. And uh, we ended up having to have a, a, a service director go out and clean the shit up. Uh, so, of course, yeah, a poop was found. Okay. And it was, uh, we all have a poop story It now. was not a poop. It was absolutely it disgusting. Was, <laughs> it was diarrhea. It was hot snakes. <laughs> it was hot snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not good. Not good. Uh, but anyways, Mike yeah. Baldwin, how have you been, my friend? Uh, I was fine until I started having all this shit story <laughs> told to me. And shit now- stories. Yeah. Now my name of the episode of this week. My mind is just not right. My mind's telling me no. <laughs> my, my body. My body is telling me no as no, well. No, I'm upset about my shit. Uh, <laughs> normally, I'm on a pretty good schedule. I wait. I shit right when I wake up in the morning. Well, yeah. I, I make coffee and dance a little while I'm making coffee. You shake it down. Oh, well, I'm you get gravity. Involved. I don't do it to shit. I dance to keep from shitting. Oh. and I'm like, come on, coffee, hurry. <laughs> Uh, but when I do comedy, I take naps during the day because I like to be fresh at uh, night. Sure. And so then that fucks with my mind because then I wake up twice in that day, you know? Sure. So I wake up from my nap and I'm like, well, time to make coffee and take a shit. And then that throws my schedule off. So then this morning I wake up and I don't have to shit, oh. even though that's what I do every fucking morning. And so now I'm in the spot where I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to have to shit here and. <laughs> It, there's like a countdown in my brain, like T minus 47 minutes, and I'm going to have to rush 
to a patio somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Make sure it's uh, where JP works because he, yes. he he likes cleaning I that do. up. I do enjoy But, yeah, it. I had a good week or two since I've been here. I did a weekend in Kansas City at yeah. the Comedy Club of Kansas City. and Saw that was, a couple clips, man. You did uh, good. Yeah. yeah, I've been trying a bunch of new stuff, and it's been going okay. I don't have any work lined up now f- for all of June. I'm broke as fuck. If anybody's hiring <laughs> and, and you don't uh, require a, me to pass a drug test. And I have I learned this recently. Asking if a place drug tests is as bad as just failing a drug test. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're like, hey, can I get an application? Do you all drug test? Yeah. That's... They're like, uh, we don't have any. <laughs> just go online. Yeah. But I did the week in Kansas City. I did this last weekend at Vorshays in uh, Wichita. How, how'd that go, by the way? It was fun because I was with Nick Allen, who's on Z90 whatever in mm-hmm. the morning. And uh, so he has fans in this town. So, yeah, it was pretty busy both nights. Good, and, good. And, uh, yeah, we had fun. Made some new fans. Sold some Ninjas Hate Crunchy Leaves t-shirts. Fuck and yes. All. Yep, it's been an all right. You still getting people that listen to the show come up to you? I didn't in the uh, no. What the fun? The funny. <laughs> I, nope, I, I, I doesn't I, happen anymore. Nope. That was a long. What no. cracks me up is that like we have more listeners in other states than we do in the one that we actually do the show. I think that's yeah. weird. Well, I I know that's true because I've been on here before and been like, hey, come to Vorshay's this weekend and mm. fucking nobody sh- yeah. nobody shows up. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Way to go, Wichita. <laughs> yeah, no You're kidding. all pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but what else? I, it was a pretty good week, actually, because my niece came in town. She's 18 and uh, just finished her first year <laughs> at, uh, at Mizzou. <laughs> That's... Are you no, are you no. laughing at inappropriate shit? Yes, one hundred percent. She just came in town to visit. I want everybody to know she's eighteen. Wherever this story goes, it was completely legal. No, that's none of that is what I mean at all. But that's, that's the way it came, it came off out. Yeah. to you, perhaps. Oh, but I just, to, them to them and to them and to them. No, she's it's my niece, dude. I'm not gonna stop. right, I'm which not is say why inappropriate this, shit. This is one hundred percent what jp and i immediately thought jen and she's well, you 18 guys, like you guys you, have just you bad put, brains you put the italic bold yeah, font dude. on it was like she's 18 right. so okay, i'm just so anyway throwing she that came out in Anyways. town and she hung out with my grandma and did grandma things all Ooh. week long so cool did grandma teach her or what you guys are terrible <laughs> I'm just trying to take care of my family over here. I'm just trying talking. to take care of my family over here. <laughs> oh uh, but what God. else? I uh, <laughs> I am looking forward to Memorial Day tomorrow because we're barbecuing with family and yeah. stuff. And, yeah. And I'm going to do my... 18-year-old niece. <laughs> I'm going to do my cheat day tomorrow so I can cheat with my 18... 18- no, I'm <laughs> It's fucking hamburgers and french fries and macaroni and cheese and oh, baked beans and shit. Damn. I'm excited. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, now I want to come over. No, not because of the niece. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> Do you no. have any 18 year old nephews? <laughs> You'll never be allowed. You'll where never my be niece allowed is. where my niece is at. Oh, my God. That's so fucking funny and terrible at the same time. Dude, we fucking kick off Memorial Day weekend like, like, well, like Americans would. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, w- everybody goes to a large body of water and drinks themselves stupid. That's that's kind of how Memorial Day works in uh, in the state of Kansas, I think. Am I wrong? Nope. Fair. I'm, cool. I'm sober, so I'm going to just smoke myself uh, stupid. Well, that's fine, too. That's fine, too. I mean, you know, do your thing. But, uh, yes, happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody out there uh, and all of you guys who have served. Thank you very much. From the bottom of our hearts, we really do actually appreciate it. Yep. Uh, hat, hats off to all of you. Uh, thank you very much for everything that you do. Oh, my God. We got through that, and it only took us, let's see, 
40 minutes, 45 minutes. Jesus Christ. The episode's almost over, I think. Sweet. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Bye, people everybody. having assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. No, but that's the whole reason. This is the whole reason why we decided to do this because it's way more fun. However. But, yeah, let's do topics. We're going to do some hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's what I thought of. Like, it's, I like it. There's not a whole I lot. I like Obviously, it. Obviously, we have a lot of sports stuff going on, but the thing that I wanted to talk about the most was a video of Scotty Scheffler getting fucking arrested is now out and everybody can see it and that motherfucker didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. He didn't hit the cop. He didn't do anything. He hit him. He didn't hit him. He that didn't. son of a bitch hit him. I, I no. obviously know exactly who you're talking about, but why don't you just tell the listeners just in case. <laughs> The number one golfer in the entire world. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And why did he get <laughs> yeah, arrested? He got arrested because, like, he got he got arrested for, like, hitting the cop, resisting arrest, or a whole bunch of charges like that. And I apologize if I'm not 100% correct. But uh, the vid, there was an actual video that came out of, of everything happening, and it is blatantly bullshit. All right. Oh, Which yeah. I love. Oh, it's because, fucking great. But think about this. Here's my thing. If... It wasn't Scotty Scheffler. Yeah. Whoever they set up like that oh, yeah. would have been fucked. Oh, yeah. 100%. They'd still be in jail. 100%. They probably That's are. bullshit. But, the, but they haven't even dropped the charges yet. They're still trying. Huh. And I know Scotty Scheffler's got a fucking great lawyer. Why? Oh, yeah. Because he's the number one best golfer in the fucking world. The number one best golfer. The number one golfer in the entire world. I apologize. But it, but seriously, the, this is uh, probably by the time that this episode comes out, we're, we're recording on a Sunday. So... By the time this episode, com- episode it'll comes, it'll probably all be dropped and everything will be fine. And he's done it with such class. He even said thank you to like all the you know police officers and thanks all that for shit. arresting me. Yeah, you guys. thank you for doing your job. Fuck you. Yeah, it, and it's it's a whole crazy thing. But now that the video evidence is out, which makes me kind of think of a lot of things of of like. Ray Lewis is not that bad of a guy until you see the video of Ray Lewis oh, okay. right hooking his fucking wife on the way down in an elevator. Yeah, right. Holy then, shit. Then you think he's a little exactly. worse off. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think P. Diddy did anything wrong. Wait till oh, you see the video, video footage. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. He's bad. Hey, diddle diddle. No, that's what somebody said. It's a uh, single mother homes. Yeah. Oh, like people that geez. weren't weren't raised with a dad right. to be like you don't fucking hit a lady. Oh man. But yeah, like this is this is the epitome of that exact situation and I yeah. think I'm really hoping that Scheffler sues the ever living fuck out of that uh, police department. And he's got because he'll win. He'll fucking win in a heartbeat. And he I, doesn't need the money. And he doesn't so need the money. He's just doing, he's just doing right? just a, so give him a gonna, big he, middle finger. So he won't settle. They'll be like, look, we'll give you a million dollars. And he's like, bitch, I, I got that from Nike today. Yeah, today. <laughs> Exactly, but I mean, they need to be taught a lesson. That's yeah, I so agree. I'm, I'm hoping yeah. for that. Uh, but still, along the whole golf golf world, it's very, very sad. Grayson Murray, unfortunately, um, committed suicide over the weekend, and that's oh. extremely, extremely fucking sad. And that's a golfer, also. Yes. And yeah. what did they leave a note or say why? Or it's too it's too recent to where they don't have a whole lot of of. Uh, information about it at least as of today but they verified that he killed himself i don't even know if there's even a um a article that's out saying of what happened but everything that i have been able to learn yeah that's what it was Hmm. really fucking sad so um yeah if you guys ever need if you guys ever feel like you're having a mental breakdown or something like that please seek help I call know. JP. He'll answer your phone no, call. No, I don't think that's what JP's saying. Oh. <laughs> I think he's chiming in as help. help. <laughs> oh, you do? That's why I'm here, JP. Yeah. No, I'm not threatening anything, but I am saying, uh, you know, making up that $3,000 that I'm in the hole would definitely improve my odds. Yeah, so go to MikeIsFunny.com and, and happily donate. Is your phone working? Yeah. Well, then you're ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I'm on my sister's family plan since oh, I was 18 years it. old. I was on my dad's family plan, and then he died. What mm. a dick. What? I know. <laughs> I Why'd he go and do that to I, you? Yeah, exactly, dude. I'm still upset about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's mainly the hot topics that I have for this okay. week. Man, those were sad. Some shit is going... I haven't looked at any of it because I've been busy. 
dude, I did shit. Okay, <laughs> so you can go fuck yourself. I've been busy. <laughs> I was gone from the house Friday for let's see, hold on. Uh, really, you got to use your fingers to count. This is why you're at a dead end I job. Was, I was at. Uh, I was probably. Out of the house for almost 17 hours Friday. Oh, good That's job. rare for me. Yeah, okay. Like, I usually spend all my hours at home yeah. jerking off, smoking weed, and playing video games. That just fucking shocks yeah. the shit out of me. Yeah. Like, how many times can you jerk off in a day before you just run out? Uh, oh, I don't run out. <laughs> you don't run out? <laughs> no. I'm, I, I'm a virile man. <laughs> I would say three for me is three tops. Three for you is tops, and then but you're just not in a row, dust. though. Yeah, you can't do it in a row. No, there I has mean, to be a I, thirty minute. Break. I did when I was thirteen. Yeah. I would do it multiple times. I just in a row. fucking. I'd do it for hours at a time. I would be yeah. sweating and shit yeah. on the toilet because right. I was just jerking off <laughs> so hard. Because <laughs> it's harder to get to climax the second time. But I didn't know any of that then. I was just like, "What is? I'm it not going to let that yet? stop me." Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm like, man. all right, we can get there. I can feel it. I just realized over this entire episode, I've done something that is so cringy, and I didn't even know I was doing it. But happy Memorial Day weekend! Yeah, that's what I thought. We discussed that. Oh, already. Man, what do you I, mean you didn't real? What I, are you talking I about? It. I missed it. It was what? a whole thing. I but totally, you don't say like yeah, hey, but when you're in the I moment, had a whole Memorial conversation. Day. I know, about but when it. you're in the moment, you don't. You're. you're I think you're, Mike's you're exact wheels, words were well, happy. Happy. Yeah. Oh, I believe you're right. No, Memorial Day is you just uh, you say the day. Yeah. Yeah. And then you nod at someone. Uh, hey, hey, Memorial, Memorial Day, Day weekend. <laughs> Memorial Day. Memorial Day. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. <laughs> yeah. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Your balls, nice to see your balls are showing. showing. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's move on. We do actually have some segments for this week. Uh, thank you guys for participating in Monday Friday. I don't know about y'all, but I worked really hard on that uh, that poster post that I did for Monday Friday of uh, Mr. Mike Baldwin and JP. Myself, I didn't really work very hard at all. You did what? Yeah, I made you it. Put my I put fucking your... work shirt on there, you <laughs> dumb motherfucker. I didn't say anything. You fucking admitted to it, so you're the fucking. You're, it's your what fault. What are you thinking? Well, it's, I just it's that free advertising. What are you I'll thinking? never be able to go to work again. Do you know how many fans are going to be outside of my job? now every, and gay fans. every day gay fans god i hope <laughs> look yeah, they don't have to be gay as long as they're willing to suck my dick <laughs> or your <laughs> or vice versa yeah exactly I'm easy. 4k for you right. to suck we'll theirs. figure it all out i'll, I'll take the ladies uh, the yeah, gay i'll, take, I'll take i'll take a gay lady just go yeah. hang out at jp's work and be like yeah, uh, dude. Uh, yeah i feel like turn. gay lady i have as as good of odds of having sex with her that's a, what, a glady if you will which which is the odds are very low but that's how it is with most women. I have a question for you, JP. Yeah. This is a very serious question. What do you think is easier, getting a straight guy to do something gay or do, or having a lesbian woman do something straight? Lesbian woman. Really? Yeah. Oh, I would have said no. I've blown so many straight dudes. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. But they're just receiving. Yeah, that's, they're receiving. That's not that gay. <laughs> I agree. I wish more people felt like you feel. <laughs> no, I would that yeah, it, but it's one of those things where it's like no, I draw the line like Well, I'm just saying I've blown more straight dudes. <laughs> right. Than I've ever met a lesbian going, "You know what? I'd like some cock today." <laughs> I've never seen that. I never. feel like if I had a lesbian never. roommate, that, and, like they go pussy and they never go back to dick. That's what I'm trying to say. Which I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get if, it. If she was your roommate and mm. single. You think so? Yeah, if she's got a girl there, they're just going to be fighting all the time. Oh, right? God, that's no bullshit. Can you mm. imagine how crazy women are in the workplace and they legitimately want to have a girl at their home all the time? That just sounds See, like a so bad like, HR If it situation. was the right girl, I would, I would fuck a girl. Yes. Yeah, so, well, I have no problem with yeah, that. My, and I have. Yeah. Yeah, I, I made and I that would decision. again, but there's no way that that girl exists wants anything to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> Much like all the gay men around here. So, so you got to go for straight guys. I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, Hard okay. up. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> repressed. Fucking yeah. Yep. Yep. yep well. Yep. yep. Moving on to the show, but to, to <laughs> or not <laughs> to uh, round up everything, getting your dick sucked less gay than sucking a dick. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, but still gay. 
Yes. No. Yes. If it's in a glory hole, though, where you can't tell. I think that's gayer. I agree. <laughs> oh, yeah. right? like you I agree. Because you know. You know, right? And you're just <laughs> fucking like, I don't give a fuck. As long as I don't see it, I can pretend I don't a know. A mystery glory you know. is the same as like phone <laughs> sex lines. Where it's right. Like, yeah, we're like I know you're gross. Yeah. I know <laughs> you're the other side of this. But anyway, all right. Ridiculous success on this whole episode already. But anyways, we're going to move on to never have I ever. <laughs> Anytime you can get into glory holes and lesbianism. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a good episode. Uh, thank you guys very, very much for all participating in Monday, Friday. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, because the, the show is going to be changing a little bit, there's going to be less of you that get opportunities. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know. But that means that each opportunity is more in, important, me- meaningful. Yeah, right. absolutely. So you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. All right, man. What is your deal with Braxton Lent? <laughs> like, for real, what do you guys got? Braxton Lent, please message me <laughs> and let me know what the fuck is going on. Like, are well, you paying him? No, or? Let's, let's, get, let's go ahead and start with Braxton Lent's oh, question. Let's do it. Let's Let's okay. do it. He wants to know which one. Never have I ever given or received pity sex. Hmm. I might have been given it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I definitely have. I definitely have. <laughs> and here's the thing with men: it's pity sex. Okay. Right. Whatever. She's like, okay, you can fuck me, but I'm not going to enjoy it. And I'm like, that's Deal. not any it's part fine. of it. Deal. Fine. Shake on it. Yeah. Yeah. You mean I get to fuck you, you and you promise? can never come yeah. back? I'd like you to sign this paperwork, please. <laughs> Absolutely. And then she's like, oh, and you're like, oh, you're enjoying. Stop. I think the I think the question is actually better because I think all of us have probably received pity sex of some kind here or there. Have we ever given pity sex? No, I don't ha- think I have. Oh, God damn it. I have. <sighs> I have. Where I, you're just I, like I there already and and you know the person wants to, but you yes. probably wouldn't have otherwise. One hundred percent. And you're like, you know what? Fine. Oh man, I did. And I I have more I, than once. I regret it every, I, every single day. I've never yeah. had sex because I pity the person, but I have had sex and while I'm doing it, I'm like, this is such a pity. <laughs> <laughs> different type of pity different, sex. Different type of pity. Okay. All right, uh, next one. We're going to move on with uh, Tyler Plackey. He wants to know, never have I ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get there, oh, JP. Boy. Good Ouch, job, Tyler. This is going to hurt. I uh, know. This kind of uh, goes along with the last one. <laughs> it's like it, it does. does. It's like it's meant to be. Uh, but Tyler wants to know, never have I ever woke up next to someone who is significantly uglier than they were the night before. I definitely have. But I've also had chicks wake up next to me. I can still one core memory that's locked in my brain is like I'm already kind of awake and the girl opens her eyes and goes "Mm." (laughs) and she did like the oh God face at me. No way. And I was like, (laughs) oh, because I wanted her to be like, good morning. Like we had such a good time last night. And she was like, "Mm." oh, God, what what did I do? Hi, I'm Mike. Remember me? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Honestly, uh, that's a good question, Mike. Like, why are you still single? Are you one of those guys that wakes up next to a beautiful woman the next morning, and then you're like the guy that's just like staring into her eyes as she wakes up or something? No, okay, n- not a bit. Okay, I'm more that guy that's like, all right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's been fun because I want to be by myself. <laughs> I can handle other people for like uh, four to six hours yeah. in a row before so, I'm like. So you right. need you need a chick that appreciates that you need alone time as well. Yeah, okay. or I just need a chick who's like, I need some alone time. I'm yeah, like, me too, dude. <laughs> right on. Uh, Blow me real quick, and then we'll go our separate <laughs> yeah, ways. I know. I need a chick that needs alone time, right. but that's like, you know what? I just love giving blowjobs. Like. <laughs> What? I don't like any time. You can just be like, blow me right now. And I'll be like, yay. And be like, okay, go ahead. That's what I want. I know. I'm like, I'll let you do this, but <laughs> yeah. you better be thankful. Right. <laughs> okay. And last one comes in from. I didn't even get an answer, oh, man. You, I'm so You're sorry. fucking rushing us oh, along. Oh, no. Actually, I did too. I didn't answer either. No, you're pop, a real piece you of know shit what? today. JP, what do you think? I don't want I don't care. Now. It doesn't matter. It's not even oh. worth my time. Uh, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> 
it's going to be like this. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. not. Uh, but no, the correct answer to this question is I do every single morning because my wife wears makeup and then goes to bed without makeup, and so it's so I have the sleep. opposite problem. Oh, you? <laughs> yeah. I slept with a drag queen. Oh no! And I don't know if you've ever seen a drag queen if they don't take their shit off and then see them in the morning. Oh, it's awful. It, it is awful. Clownish. Oh. I thought I slept with a clown lady. <laughs> uh, and then I noticed her hair was hanging on the banister, and then I realized it was a dude. Thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, That's I so got real drunk that night. I'm sure you fucking I was seeing. Did. I don't know what I was thinking, but that was the most awkward because I was trying to sneak out. Oh, but God. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Literally rolled over and was like, <laughs> where are you going and i'm like no oh, i was just you know gonna go out and have a cigarette oh okay you can smoke in here yeah okay <laughs> like uh but i hurry I'm, she said hurry back <laughs> dude i got my car and i fucking never out. looked back uh, <laughs> you fucking peeled out of that parking not, lot yeah, it oh. was not a good deal oh god that's absolutely. but as a dude he's actually pretty good looking oh uh, yeah and that's why I, I knew him as a guy, and he's a really good singer. Fun fact. I met him at karaoke. Really nice. Yeah. Good looking dude. And then I found out he did drag, so I went to see one of his drag shows, and he paid the bartender to get me fucking completely wasted huh. and then took advantage of me. And I'll tell you what, it didn't feel good, ladies. Yeah. So I know no where shit. you're coming from. Um, and, uh, yeah. Fun fact, though, I like how you said uh, I know him as a guy. Guess what? He's always a guy. No. Yeah, it's always I, that's the way it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Not yeah, anymore. Yeah, 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 still a guy. He, nope. Oh, he's what? got a giner now. Oh, that's ah. that's still a dude. <laughs> it's still a dude. You man. would never it's, know. It's uh, less a dude <laughs> than, yeah. than it was it's a, a whole a, lot less. A second ago in the conversation. <laughs> About six in his, in his case, a lot less because. <laughs> oh yeah. God, that's gross. See, as, as a guy that doesn't have a huge cock. <laughs> I'm like, what What a waste. It's like when I see people that have perfect heads of hair and they shave their head. I'm yeah. like, you fucking dick. You idiot. Do you yeah. know what I wouldn't give to <laughs> yes. be able to grow the head of hair that Absolutely. you just cut off without oh, regard? This is so much fun. Okay. Now we got to finally move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode we can't ta- we can't take this out it's just too no, it's, it's too good, it's a good one. Uh, this is that's where i draw the line and we're going to kick this off with keith stuckey he wants to know how much under the speed limit can someone go before you pass them five over that's good if they're not going at least five over that's i good. will pass them that's good no i, I can't go under uh and he actually and this has kind of been modified but he also made the kind of the question at the same uh not even when you're driving but when you're walking like have you ever mm. walked on a sidewalk and you got oh, yeah, assholes in front of you that aren't walking just kind of like fucking, and just kind of like fucking diddle yeah. did, you know and yes I, like fuck those people I, I like grab my wife's hand and pass them in the grass how dare they enjoy their day yeah fuck you you're but in my enjoy way enjoy your day over yeah oh, the fuck bit. out of mine get the fuck yeah. out of mine don't yeah. don't stand three wide when yeah. you're just right. moseying and I, and I will honestly say there is nothing that pisses me off more than somebody being in the left lane that's going the speed limit and i don't care if there's nobody in the right lane yeah. at all if you are going the speed limit in the left lane yeah, the i, fuck out I am mad at you it i depends, may honk at you really. it depends on several factors oh no it doesn't to sometimes, me sometimes especially driving through nebraska the right lane is way bumpier than the left lane is so it any opportunity I get, I'm driving in the left lane. Okay. Then you need to be driving 10 over the speed limit. That bumpiness. Yeah. No, I just, and if somebody wants to pass me, then they'll tell me from far away. Because sometimes <laughs> people will pass in the left lane if they see somebody. Yeah, come. <laughs> Coming, buddy. You guys are on your fucking you, CB yeah. radios like, hey. Uh, I'm getting ready to pass you off on the right hand side. Could you guys go ahead and uh, just uh, get out? Yeah, ten, ten four, good I'm buddy. I'm just saying it. it depends on the situation. I I talk to my friend Fraser on while he's driving all the time, and he's like, "Oh, this fucking guy in front of me," Fraser. and I hear his like engine revving and shit, and I'm like, "I none of that ever happens to me while I'm driving." Like, what? I, what kind of stress do you have in your life that going three miles an hour slower ruins your fucking day? I don't know, and I don't, I can't explain it. Like, I don't. I just, 
understand. I I always got in arguments with people that are like, well, your maps say it's going to take 12 minutes, but I'll get there in five. <laughs> that is the and most, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. that is the most That's American so me, fucking dude. thing yeah. in the entire like, world. Ma- I always maps, try to beat it. My maps say a time, and oh, I know yeah. that's the time that I'm going to be there. Every yeah. single time you pull up your GPS and it says 20 minutes, you're like looking at your phone, and then you go, yeah, nah, I bet you I can beat it. It can be there in 15. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> most American fucking thing ever. Uh, but yeah, uh, now we get to move on to Braxton Lint. He wants to know what crime would a family member have to commit to disown them? I like this question a lot. There's really two. Uh, so rape. That's one. And fraud. Ooh. Fraud. <laughs> it's funny how fraud. <laughs> murder is murder is murder. But if they're fucking in, you know, fraud. See, but with murder, at least there's a story behind it. It's oh. like, like, oh, no, really? I didn't, okay. I didn't just plan to kill a guy and then go kill him. Like a thing happened and I had to kill the guy or, or whatever. Like, but that's not always the case. There's no yeah. story with. There's not always a story with murder. Either. No, there's not. No. Well, it depends. Everything depends. No, yeah. I, I was going to say rape. M- murder. Except like, rape. No, yeah. listen, you got to hear Look, the story. You got it coming, bro. <laughs> yeah, Just no. sit back and listen to this. No, none of that. But murder, on the other hand, does have that sometimes. Where it's like, yeah, the guy died, but oh, it's not what I right. intended. <laughs> uh, I, I think definitely murder is on my list oh, for yeah. a family member. Right. However, if it is my best friend. <laughs> then they can murder. I am the one they're going to call to be like, hey, I need a favor. And I'm like, all right, who's, Anything who's you driving? Need, bro. Bring a shovel. Who's driving? It, yeah, exactly. It's like, I know a lot of places to hide a body. Bring a tarp and a shovel. Yeah, it, it, because I think that there is a level of, of like trust with the best friend that is on a different level than like a family member sometimes. Does hey, anybody else feel this way, or am I? Just so we myself? hold on, time out before we go any further. Yeah. J- we're J- friends, if but J- we're not best friends. If JP called me and, and said, said, "I need to bury a body." Hey, dude, I I got a situation, and it, there's a body do, involved, me? and I'd be like, "All right, who's driving? I'll bring the shovels." I know. That's good place. to know. No, no dude, I'm I dead would serious. be like, uh, "Wrong number. I gotta go. <laughs> this is no. being recorded well, clearly. No You're bullshit. an idiot for calling me on the phone. No bullshit." And on the other hand, though, if if my mom called and said the exact same thing, I'm like, "Okay, hang up. Call in nine one one immediately." Like that's uh, it's, funny. It's a totally different dynamic. Okay. My best friends, I would legitimately like help them out. That's good to know, dude. God damn it, I'm a criminal. That is good yeah. to know. Yeah, but just, uh, anyways, just to be clear, if anybody calls me and says that they murdered somebody, I that's okay because you said murder has excuses. Yeah, exactly. I it's w- a good story. I'll listen to your story, but I'll probably call. I'll be like, "Do you have the weapon on you? Do right you have now? the weapon on you? <laughs> can you put it down and step toward the door? Can yeah. can <laughs> describe the weapon for me? Can are you, you gonna?" Hide it? Where are you going to hide it? Will I you just stop need pointing to it at me, please, yeah. and then we can <laughs> discuss this. Nice. All right. All right. And uh, the last uh, one comes in from Elliot Swinson. He wants to know, when is it acceptable to start smoking weed? I'm guessing the age. About I'm thinking that's what he means. Is by, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was like going to say, age? I never stop if we're talking about time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, like, what? what's a good age? Uh, they say, I've read this, and based on the way that my life is, I, it's probably true. They say that your brain stops maturing at the age that you start smoking weed on a daily basis. And is so, that why people tell me act like I'm 13? I was going to say, <laughs> so that's why I act like 16, 17 yeah, right. yeah. in my life. Oh, that like, makes so much no sense. No real responsibilities. It oh. would be great if they did, you know, 18. 18 or 21 just like beer or, yeah yeah but I, I think i think 16 is my line so 15 16 i think i think whatever it is for alcohol and i think that 21 years old for alcohol it's is too much too old yeah. uh, i want to go with 18 i think if you're an adult yeah. and if you can sign up for the military and go over and fight a war that a bunch of politicians made you go over and fight i think you should be able to have a fucking drink and that's the way that i feel yeah, I mean, I can see pros and cons of that. You can vote. You can do all kinds of shit when you're 18, but you can't drink a beer, which is absolutely ridiculous. Go fuck yourself uh, on that rule. So, anyways. I just imagine me being like, so me and this 18-year-old are getting <laughs> wasted, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. She yeah. was legal, dude. Yeah, And yeah. she was hammered. Was it your niece? <laughs> She's 18. 
Trust me. <laughs> Don't push uh, yeah, that fucking button. <laughs> my headphones just died. I know. You died? My headphones did. Oh, did they? How about now? Yeah, no. No? Okay. Well, you fucked me. Take them off. You don't even need them. Oh, I did? Oh, that's better. Is that good? What's that do? That's it the, just means yeah, me. Yeah, it kind of, sort of. It's like, oh, fuck, F- you. fuck you. you. Don't need you. To yeah, you don't need I'm to saying. hear anything I'm saying. Okay. Uh, anyways, that's okay. The fuck, fuck you mute button. <laughs> I didn't know that we, we <laughs> I, had one of I those. I didn't mean to. Great. Uh, but that's where we draw the line for this week. Now we get to move on to questions <laughs> and preguntas. Yeah. Questions. Yeah, we have uh, we have the same number of these, and I think that they're all good. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to kick this off with Dennis. I, I, I'm not going to try to do the Spanish pronounce. Guadarrama. Guadarrama. Uh, it's uh, Guadarrama. Dennis Guadarrama. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> Guadarrama. He, he wants to know. <laughs> Guadarrama. 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 Yeah, Guadarrama. How do we How do we do Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, he wants to know, uh, tell me you're from the Midwest without telling me you're from the Midwest. Ain't afraid of tornadoes, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, hey, there's a thunderstorm. Okay, cool. Sit out on the porch. How about you, JP? My brother's also my cousin. <laughs> no, that's Arkansas, oh, fucker. That's Arkansas. They're not even in the Midwest. No. No. They're way cooler than we are, though. Uh, no. I... I, I there's a, like how to fucking tell you're cin- in the Midwest. It's all tornado shit. Cinnamon rolls and fucking cinnamon chili. rolls and chili. That's a good one the too. Dumbest yep. fucking shit. I that's, don't that's, understand. That'll be a good one. That'll I be mine. Don't cinnamon it. rolls and chili. Oh, it's the best. Don't fucking get so it. So good. Oh, it's so stupid. How about you uh, over there, Mike? Uh, it would be one of two words: either whelp, <laughs> whelp is the good or one. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my two Midwest only words. Whenever uh, I am trying to leave a public gathering, it takes 35 minutes to leave because somebody just yeah, continues right. to talk. I think that's not that's a Midwest thing. I think, I think that is a Midwest I don't thing. Think so. I, no, do. I, do. I just, you gotta I be, you gotta learn how to duck out, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I do. You gotta do the old Irish goodbye. Okay. What's the Irish goodbye? It's where you where go talk to, to everybody one last time, but you don't tell them you're leaving. You're just talking to them. You just, you know, whatever go around. Once you've done that, you just disappear. Ooh, I like that. That sounds I like do a it great all, idea. That's how I leave every place I ever leave. That's I good. usually lean to whoever I'm closest friends with, and I'm like, hey, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> and if they're my close friend, they're like, all right, peace out, dude. Yeah. Right. I'll be like, wait, wait like 10 minutes and then tell everybody I said bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Very good. And then I sneak back in and I'm like, fuck, can you tell JP to move his car? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make a big I don't want to make here, a scene but, here. Oh, that's good shit. I like that. Uh, next one comes in from Wolf Rob. He wants to know. Wolves. Yeah, he's a wolf. Wolf. He likes wolves. Wolf Rob. He really loves wolves. Wolf. 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 Uh, he wants to know if my partner said this during sex, I would immediately stop and leave. Uh, I can't think of anything. Right. I know. <laughs> There's a few things that would make me be like, wait, what? <laughs> but I don't know if I would just stop and leave. Uh, Unless they were to be like, by the way. I did tell you I was positive, right? <laughs> that would be the only thing I could think of. But even then, I wouldn't immediately leave. I would or be like, stop. I would be <laughs> like, wait, what? Fuck it, it's too late now. Can you clarify what you yeah, were saying? Right. Keep the. Uh, let me just get this right. Uh, you're saying that I should have a condom on right now, <laughs> but I don't. Okay, well. Yeah, Fuck I, it. I've been pretty lucky because that's, yeah, how, ex- that's how that's exactly the way I use condoms. Mm. Yeah, I'm I like, don't. I I go. Uh, what's it called when you bear don't bear back? It? Yeah, bear. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Raw dog it until yeah. five seconds before I'm about to come, and then I pull out and I'm like, we should really be using a condom. And then I take my time putting that on, and then I feel like I start over. From yeah, the exactly. Beginning. You get an additional five seconds after. But then whatever disease I would have caught, I it's now already, have yeah. already. Ready, it's already there which defeats the entire purpose um so i think mine is if somebody said if, if somebody said to me all right first you fuck me and then i fuck you <laughs> it's immediately over That's i am good. leaving I, like I don't like it one bit okay. i'm out there so there's that or if she was like the the guy that's waiting outside your hotel door <laughs> needs his five hundred dollars right now, or, or we can't continue. Hashtag pegging. Even then, I would still be like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah, As same. I'm still fucking. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Uh, next one comes in from Chase Golden. He wants to know rejected Memorial Day traditions. Oh, welcome to the inappropriate <laughs> portion of the show. It's fucking Memorial Day, dude. Why don't we do rejected Veterans Day things on this uh, day? I, uh, burning an American flag. That that needs to But that's not rejected. That needs to be rejected. That's, yeah. That shit that happens. Is, yeah. Not on Memorial Day. They're like, fuck America. Yeah, absolutely. It's, okay. And it's on college campuses all over the United States right now. Okay. Uh, I mean, but what is the Memorial Day tradition? Uh, barbecue? Barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue. Family. Lake family. That's fireworks. So, are there so, ever fireworks? Oh, one hundred percent. Are you sure. kidding me? Absolutely. It's close it enough. Yeah, we're gonna do some Class C fireworks from uh, that we've had but since was 2006. The rejected ones, rejected. Uh, uh, yeah, going on a boat and letting it sink in honor of yeah. your grandpa. Oh man, that'd be that'd be all right. I'd, I'd do that. It depends on how close I was to the shore. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. So I'd be like, bait. So I swim from here. Yeah. I got some really right. dark ones, but yeah. I I like what to I, just post online that my door is unlocked. And then tie myself to my bed face down. <laughs> and if you're a veteran, it's free fucking free game. game. You just come oh, load me up. Oh, because it's Memorial Day. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, that's Absolutely. a sadly rejected tradition. <laughs> yeah. That's too bad. God damn it. But that is, I like, I wish more chicks would do what I've seen in porn before, where the dude just walks in the room and the girl's just naked from the waist down with her ass sticking in the air and like a blanket over. And the guy's like, whoa, what, well, what's look going at, on here? Look at yeah. this. It's like it's just there for me. And then he know? starts having sex with her and then she takes the blanket off and then he's like, oh, I thought you were, oh. And she's like. And it, <laughs> it's, his, it's his 18-year-old niece. Yeah, oh, my God. You guys are terrible, dude. <laughs> I just can't believe. She's 18. Uh, she's 18. Uh, and next one comes in from Tyler Shoemaker. He wants to know, what is it about a hotel that makes a person automatically horny? When the when it smells like the person that stayed there before yes. you <laughs> oh my God. pissed right. into the air conditioner. Oh, wow. No. Yeah, that's the one of the few times I've gone back to the front desk and been like, can I just, I need a different room. Yeah, that's a good question because yeah. what is it about, like, you're expected that oh, we're going to fuck tonight. We're staying in a hotel. I know the answer. What? You do? Yes. Why? I don't have to clean up. Uh, that's true. And let you me don't. tell you. One time, oh, no. no, this one time. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. it was not good. Oh it was, no! It was bad because you have to do it in the butt. It was bad. Was there shit everywhere? There was. Oh, I, oh no! The worst part is, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> That's you're gonna just end with that. I think the whole bad. experience the whole sounds like the worst bad. part. It was. Oh, it was. Yeah, I do too. I agree with the yeah. worst part. Well, but the no. worst part is he. Like Wasn't works even in gay. he works in that he works for that hotel chain oh, God. that we stayed oh, in. No. So the people knew him and who he was. Oh. And when I got there, it just so happens that the GM of the hotel is of there was a guy that used to be on the radio here in Wichita. All right, oh, we're getting um, very specific and uh, <laughs> very very good friend of mine, very popular dude. Uh, his ex-wife was the person that was there at the desk, oh. so she knew me. I knew her. Oh no! And uh, yeah, no. there are obviously people who know exactly who you're talking about based off of that. Yeah, oh. very limited description. Uh, oh, that's yeah. bad. So, but I worked with his. Also worked with his ex at Quick Trip. If you want to narrow it down <laughs> just a little bit. More. <laughs> Well, I've definitely ruined a hotel room before, but it was because I had uh, food poisoning. No, that'll, oh, that's yeah, that'll okay. do it. But I woke up in the middle of the night and just fucking puked yeah, like, man. on oh, the bed, no. beside the bed. No, and then I was just like, all right, well, let's just ball all this up and throw yeah, it in the corner. Throw it in the corner. They'll get uh, it later. And go Fantastic, sleep on the dude. food bed. Yeah. They probably, like, like fucking maids. At hotels, probably have the worst fucking, fucking worst stories, stories, dude. Yeah. Oh man! Absolutely. But people, I was just thinking that because people are like, "Ah, eh, they're used to stuff like that," and nah. it's like a lot of them maybe haven't even been working here very right. long, right? right. Yeah. And they'll quit today right. because of this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. But yeah, no, the real reason is is because you don't have to clean up after yourself, <laughs> and you get one of JP's situations. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but anyways, uh, the last one is actually a question from last week, so I want to give Brian Scott credit. But he wants to know, if you could create an Olympic event that you would definitely win the gold medal in, what event would it be? Uh, either weed-related or... You're going say. up against JP here. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, it had to be weed related or dick sucking related. Well, yeah, I figured you would go for the low hanging yeah, fruit yeah, as, for as sure the low hanging yeah. cock of the I think the that's joke. what I would do. I can of watch course. three seasons of something in less than twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't think that would be that hard. Yeah, I'm going blowjobs, man. I mean, um, I feel like I could break that record, whatever it is. I wait, like number of blowjobs yeah. to different people or oh, yeah. longest blowjob to oh, one no. person. No. J- different. JP wants to have a fucking have. train. Oh, like like a fucking Yeah. Yeah. This, no. this more reminds than me of have, did you guys watch Silicon Valley? Yes. No, it yes. reminds me of that I where there's exactly the what middle out talking about. fucking jerking dudes yeah. off. Oh, yeah. Jesus. He's man. like, I could jerk off every guy in, in there, there and yeah. we're not gonna and he's like, they well, do this yeah, but how how long would that take? What? That's four hundred guys yeah. you got to think like 10 <laughs> minutes mean jerk time and, and yeah. that's a pretty good show that I episode like it. was great too mm-hmm. i think that's that's my event my event would be uh the like how fast can you come from jerking off Oh, I couldn't do that under pressure. Yeah, well, I, I guess if I if I waited, long if you enough, train long enough, man, but it would be not train. training for right. me. It would just be like don't jerk off for a week, yeah. well, and then gotta, I can come quick. Training. If you do it in front of your niece, that'll get rid of the stage fright. I think she is eighteen. She is eighteen. She's not. <laughs> she's not. Oh, truth comes oh, out. She's yeah. she's thirteen. Stop talking oh. about it. Oh, damn it. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Thank you guys very much for participating in Monday, Friday. I liked this. That was fun. That yeah. was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Send your questions to whatever at the thing at, at the thing dot com. during the deal and do the stuff. So there we go. There we go. Uh, but now we get to hey, move. Scotty. <laughs> hey, what? What's coming up next? Oh, my God. It is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, well, Jeremy Joseph's not here, so naturally, guess who won? JP! Hey! Thank you guys for voting. We sincerely do appreciate it. <laughs> thank you thank you to the 30s of fans, <laughs> the tens of fans that voted for me. It's very important to go and vote. You yeah. got to go and you vote. You have to vote. Absolutely. Rock the vote. Even if you don't like either of the candidates, you need to go you gotta vote. and vote. Yes, please. I'm joking. Uh, anyways, uh, so yes, uh, Jeremy Joseph won last week's uh, Battle Royale in a barbershop. Uh, I came in dead last, which is pretty much uh, par for the course. And uh, so that means this week, JP gets the championship picks. Uh, I get the uh, Eiffel Tower picks, which I'm so good at, by the Mm -hmm. way. Very much so. Yep. And then Mike Baldwin, because he hasn't been here in a while, gets the first overall pick. So, ladies and gentlemen, this week's draft, I've actually been wanting to do this for a very, very long time, and we never have. This week's draft is going to be our favorite underrated movies of all time. Okay. So these are movies that mean a lot to you, but probably didn't win an Oscar or do very good, but they just mean a lot to you. Got okay. You. So uh, this week's draft, the most underrated movies of all time. Mike, you get the first overall pick. Don't fuck it up. Uh, I'm going to say Ashton Kutcher's The Butterfly God Effect. God damn it. That's on my list. I cannot believe that. Was it? Yes. That was my first thought when you said that. Oh, damn. I am shocked. Because I remember I watched it and was blown away by it. And then my roommate at the time, I was like, dude, this is probably like one of the top five best movies of all time. Yeah. And that was 25 years ago. And to this day, like we laughed throughout the the movie when we watched it together because of how not the best it top was, five. It was it was really <laughs> oh, cheesy. Yeah. The the thinking behind it was really good, but it wasn't Execution as as good as great. as I made it out to be. And so now, even to this day, he's like, "Yeah, I mean, like it was a good movie. It wasn't like butterfly effect good." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "Fuck you, dude." Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, Mike. 
push yeah. push the mic to where you're talking into the front of it instead of the top of it. So none you didn't hear any of that. I did. No, push the fucking mic backwards so you're talking into the ribbon. Like this? There you go. It's the ribbon, the S. There you go. Well, yeah. why do you have it like that? No, you do. You put it like that. Anyway. But why not make Speak it into where the I S, talk Speak into the, the fucking to- top of it like because a that's microphone? that's not the way the microphone works. Yeah, it's not. Poor uh, shit. So anyways, <laughs> my first pick is the very, very first DVD that I ever bought. Mm. Ooh. And um, you can't go wrong with Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan Rush in a hour. movie. And that is the Rush Hour. Rush Hour was so fucking good. Never yeah. touch a black man's radio. Yeah, you don't ever touch a black man's radio. Which one of y'all kicked me? <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking outtakes at the very end yeah, are they're always good. fucking yeah. good. So yeah, I'm okay. going to take Rush Hour. One. The first Not one. the worst pick. I liked it. It's That's a great a movie. Pick. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. All right, I'm going to go with Weird Science. Yeah, it's a terrible movie. Oh, dude, it's so great. I think it's Are you, awful. dude, it's such a fucking yeah. phenomenal movie. I know, people. Oh, it's like a... It's, it's cult classic, a cult dude. Classic, it is yeah. a fucking phenomenal cult movie. Cult classic that's a pile of Damn, shit. Damn, that's a great movie. The chicken, it's hot, though. I'll give you that. Uh, and then... Um, Shawshank Redemption. That's a bullshit. They, they won all kinds of awards, didn't they? No. But, no. Oh. Shawshank won zero. Zero awards. As far as the Academy Awards and oh, stuff. That's such a terrible fucking pick. If you that's know, a great fucking if pick. If you know what's but it's going not, on. I don't think it's underrated. No, I think it's uh, really appreciated. I think it's uh, obviously not. Didn't get any awards. Oh, that's true. I'll, yeah, I'll give you that. Quit trying to pick my fucking picks apart because you're a loser. Uh, no, All right? no. Uh, Vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am. A, I'm a very big fan of this particular movie. In fact, I yeah, think it's probably one. one of Tom Cruise's best movies that it he's ever a been a part movie. of, and it got no love. But I am going to take Minority Report. Or the Minority Report, excellent video, excellent film, but overall, really, really good idea. If you could, uh, if you could predict if somebody was going to get murdered, would you arrest them before they did it? So good fucking flick, mm. Mike. You get two in a row. Uh, MacGruber. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yes. Yeah. I love MacGruber. No. <laughs> when the van explodes and he's like, no, 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 no. There's like two parts in the whole movie that are funny. Yeah. Okay, and then you get one more. Um, I'm going to say, and don't be mad at me because it was on my list also. You have been staring at my list. Toy Soldier. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was my one. Do you remember that? Of course I remember that Toy Soldier. That was such a good movie yes. when I was like 12, 13 or whatever. I think we're talking about two different movies. I buddy. think so too. I'm talking about the one with Sean Astin where they're in a college and terrorists show That's up. That's the one I'm talking about too. Yes. And they like reprogram. What the, a phenomenal movie. It was dude. really good. Phenomenal. Yeah. I Lou liked Gossett it a lot. Jr., dude, Lou Gossett come Jr. Lou Gossett Jr. Sean Astin oh, plays like the mother the troublemaker kid. Piece of shit. He always, it, that character reminded me of me when i was yeah. in school because i was always that kid who i should have been suspended or expelled or something but the teacher would just go yeah. what's the matter with you mike you're damn. smarter than this damn, you know damn damn wow yeah look i have goosebumps because that's how that cool movie, bro. <laughs> toy I soldiers love was that fucking movie wow okay all right damn. well sorry that I, hurt dude. yeah i'm that sorry hurt. i'm i'm sorry it hurts uh my pick was actually initially on a, not on my own list when oh, I started made. Then you looked at mine. No, no, no. I don't <laughs> think it's on there. I'm pretty sure it's not on there, but it's a very underrated movie. In fact, the cast was so fucking superlative, and if they ever tried to make this video again, everybody would be canceled. I'm going to go with Tropic Thunder. Okay. okay. That is a very underrated movie, and they pushed buttons. And, uh, Great one. Yeah, okay. It's excellent. So, I don't think it's that underrated. I don't think so either. But I, I, think, but I don't think anything. fucking Shawshank <clears throat> is either. Yeah, yeah, that's true. JP, you get two in a row. Well, now I'm fucked. You are. Here, dude. <laughs> Okay, let's go with uh, Best in Show. Oh, that is a terrible fucking dude, movie. That is a phenomenal movie. I like Best movie, in Show dude. quite a bit. Yeah, my, great fucking movie. My wife made me watch dude. that movie, telling me it was going to be so oh, it funny. Is so funny, and I'm just like, dude, this it's great. Is awful. You the can't go into good. it Ugh. thinking this is going to be so funny. You got to go into dogs. it going, what? What is this? What dude, is this what about? a great movie. Oh, man. I can't. I can't do it. I See? can't. I can't it's stand underrated. it. 
You get another pick, though, so go for it. Uh, and then I'm going to go with Adventures in Babysitting. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one. Good I, movie. A lot of people probably don't even know what it is. Dishes are Great done, movie. man. Okay. No, that was fucking. Oh don't yeah, tell that Mama was don't tell. Me. Oh, Adventures in Babysitting was with too. Thor and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah. And quite underrated. Yeah. Good job. Okay. I I'm gonna win. <laughs> no, you're not. I I'm don't. A winner. I don't think so. Vote for me, please. I am. Uh, you <clears> can't <throat> have this. You can't make a list of the most underrated movies without of all time one. without this one. Okay. And you can't make the most underrated movies without this actor. And and that is my favorite actor of all time, Bruce Willis. And if you're going to put Bruce Willis with anybody, it's going to be with Chris Tucker, and that is going to be the Fifth Element. Ooh, okay. You think the Fifth Element is underrated? Yes, it's I think like it, it's cult so, classic. It's so it's a great good. movie. It's a great, yeah. great movie, sir. What I do you, put that in the same fucking so, category with Shawshank. No, though, it's but. it's so yeah. underappreciated. A lot of people don't even know that that movie exists. Oh, how is and that it's, possible? Oh God, it's okay. so good. All right, sir, I'll, I'll what do you watch identify now, as? Uh, you never seen it? I've oh, it's not a great seen it. fucking movie. Yeah, man. do you You'll identify like it. as human? It, dude. Do you identify as human? Negative. I am Negative. a meat. Pi- I'm, I'm a meat popsicle. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> it's fucking, a great. It's an movie. excellent movie. Have yeah. you really not seen it, Mike? If I have, it, I've only seen parts oh, years man. ago. Dude, it's so good. Or I, it might be one of those that I'll be three fourths through it and be like, oh yeah, I have seen this. Yeah. All right, you get two in a row. These are your last two picks there, Mike. What do you got? I am picking an old movie called Radio Flyer. Okay, that's a good one. Good one. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. With the abusive dad and shit. Oh, yeah. Protecting his little brother. That was a good one. Okay. And then I guess for my last pick, I'm going to go Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's a good one. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good list. Good solid that's a list. Good, that's a good list. Not good enough to win. I don't but know. But a good solid list. I, I think, don't know. I think Butterfly Effect by itself is enough to push mm-hmm. me over the edge. Well, Toy Soldiers probably is. You're a dick. I'm going to have to vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot. Right. I've got a lot riding on this pick, and I, 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 I got other v- movies that I want to pick. Well, yeah, let's do choose, ten. Man. Let's do ten. I, this week. I can totally do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. I so could choose. But if I did not have this this movie, my life would be like empty because when everybody sees me or knows my name every single time they start singing a song and it is scotty doesn't know that fiona and me do it in my van every sunday and that is from euro trip so i am going to take euro trip and that is an excellent fun movie and i love it so i will take euro trip for my last pick Okay. All right. <laughs> you can tell me and JP neither. It's a great neither movie. Neither of us are like, oh it's man, excellent. I'm, I'm so S- mad. I forgot Euro Trip. Great pick, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good fucking movie. If Matt Damon sure. makes a cameo there as are, a lead singer, they're it's definitely. Fucking good. Hey, dude, there definitely aren't better choices than that. No, there's not. Oh, okay. There's not. All right. All right. And then JP, what is your bullshit last pick? Uh, Daryl. Okay. D A R R Y L. You ever seen it? No. It's from the early '80s. Isn't it an acronym? A, yes. All right. Yeah. It's about a robot, a kid that's a robot, and it's cheesy as fuck, but it's a great fucking movie, man. And you made fun of me about Euro Trip. Yeah. Yeah. What in the fuck is wrong? You with haven't you? even seen mine. What? Daryl. Daryl. Okay. Watch it and then talk to me. Okay, fine. Okay. I, I bet you it's shit. It is. Okay. But you'll, it's better than Euro Trip. <laughs> it's shit in a good way. Okay. Yeah. So what are some honorable mentions? Because I've got shit loads. Care Bears movie. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my. One of the better ones that's, out there. That's when you found out you were gay, huh? Mm, pretty much. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, I had a whole bunch of like kid movies whenever I was like younger that I will never forget. And one of the ones that I almost picked was Dunstan checks in yeah holy fuck yeah. that was an that was awesome movie uh rookie of the year was another rookie one. Of the year. oh yeah. yeah yeah that was another one. teen witch teen Probably witch never seen that one either no no i don't think it's a great do. movie great way underrated yeah fucking great movie I, and the only reason why i didn't pick this next one was Ooh. because it was it was so good but i think everybody loved it and that was super bad yeah oh yeah that's it, not underrated yeah, okay it's not no. right. here's one i just thought of the wizard 
Uh, yeah. Did you guys ever watch that? I've yeah. seen it one time. It's decent. It's decent. It was the decent. Nintendo yeah, movie. The Nintendo movie. That was fucking badass when I was yeah. young. The I other, agree. the other one that I almost picked uh, instead of the Fifth Element, but I couldn't make myself do it. It was Role Models. No, uh, yeah. I love I that movie. Is it not? I don't think See, so. That's and that's a why fucking great. It's movie. a great fucking yeah, movie. I think so, people know. Yeah, but anyways. Well, anyways, guys, you can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for the best list of the most underrated movies uh, of all time. And whoever wins next week gets a mouth hug from JP as he loves to give. And uh, yeah. And make sure you comment on which movies you would have uh, selected. That's always a lot of fun to make. Yeah, call make, us fucking idiots. Yeah, yeah right. Time. We love it. Tell us why we're idiot. wrong. We I can't it. believe they didn't pick... <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Baldwin. What? You're on the show. Oh, yes. So you you brought us this excellent episode, and I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, you're welcome. That's spectacular, but we all really love JP. And who could blame you? Yeah, he's pretty I wish some of you would love me a little more. (laughs) (laughs) That's disgusting. You guys love me the exact right amount. (laughs) (laughs) I just want to... I need a sponsor. Somebody please sponsor me. You need to love Mike Baldwin even more, because you you just got to. He's He's the best. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is actually from a listener. This comes from Mason Ike. He wants to know, would you rather watch Derek in a sumo wrestling jock strap, or would you rather watch JP pleasure himself in drag? I know what my answer is. Oh, this so is do easy. I. Oh, this is easy. It's so easy. So easy. Mike? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would rather see gross than gay. <laughs> so you're going with me then? <laughs> no, I'm going with Derek. I will. But watch, I'm dressed up like a girl. I will watch Derek sumo wrestle. Oh, and, that might be a mistake, buddy. I mean, all I got to do is sit there and watch for a second. Especially now because you're starting to lose weight, so he's got all that extra skin. Flab. <laughs> he's flabby. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. I'm fine with that as long as he's not doing gay things okay. while the- being gross. This You're both is, naked. This is basically. so much not a shitty situation. Yeah, it's not even a choice. You're going Derek, too. I am I, videoing I all of this. Yeah. And I am putting it on every social network I can fucking find. So both? No. Not you. Oh, Derek. I don't ever want to see you oh. do anything well, yeah. naked, period. Mm, I don't care if weird. you're in a dress or not. But you don't even know how I like to pleasure myself. So. I don't give a fuck. I, I, know. Okay. I if, want If pleasuring so yourself is like doing push-ups or something like that, I'd be like, all right, I'll watch JP do push-ups <laughs> in a dress as opposed to watching Derek's ass fucking bounce around he would do cock ups is what he would end up doing wouldn't you yeah something like something that. like that Use no the cock <laughs> that was i should have put that on my list too so you're De- both pick going of destiny yeah you're both going with Derek. Huh? absolutely yes are you kidding huh. me how hilarious in, would in that your be? defense if it was watch Derek jerk off in a dress or, or watch jp, JP jerk, jerk off, off in i a would dress. choose you in a heartbeat buddy <laughs> thank you thank you uh, so i guess we're gonna make it a clean sweep Oh, I'm yes. also going Derek. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to watch myself jerk off in a dress. No, I can't. I don't want to do that either. It's a clean That's sweep. Great. Oh my god. We're all watching Derek's fat ass get into a wrestling match. Less fat than than once. As long was. as I don't have to be close enough to smell it. Oh yeah, that. If ain't I have no to shit. be close enough to smell it, I change my mind. Yeah, I love how he says all the time. Oh. His microphone smells like ass already. <laughs> I love how he says all the time, no, I, my farts don't stink unless I have to poop. And it's like, no, all of your farts fucking stink. Yeah. You just stink. All right. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, I think that would be absolutely hilarious. And I would, oh, it would be, uh, we need to make this happen. I, 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 I've I decided. There is no Let's way make this he happen. would let that happen. Oh, God, no. God, no. no. Any chance to show how small of a penis he has, oh, absolutely no way yeah. in hell he's putting himself in that Dude, situation. Yeah, well, no. but you're. It's if it's sumo stuff, it's like thick enough yeah, that, that you can. You won't really. You yeah. can hide a small cock or a large <laughs> cock in the same in a diaper. Yeah, in the same yeah. outfit. True. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. But it just even with him with his fucking shirt off, it, it, he hates it. He doesn't even go swimming because he doesn't like to take a shirt off. Well, God bless him. And <laughs> right? thank, the, thank God. And thank God he feels that way. I know. He should, right? Yeah. But, uh, I, was, I was that kid for maybe one summer. Yeah. And then my friends were like, take your fucking shirt off, dude. We can all see that you're fat. It doesn't <laughs> yeah, matter. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you can? I thought, I, thought shirt, I, was hiding I thought the shirt covered up my fat. Yeah. Oh, no, nope. nope. it just emphasizes right. it. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to say I really enjoyed this episode. I like how it was a lot easier, more fun. And so I hope all of you guys enjoyed it as well. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for Mike Baldwin, everybody. Yeah. Go to MikeIsFunny.com. Help him out in any way that you possibly can. And then most importantly, whenever he's going to be doing stand-up comedy, go and see him. He is a uh, He's a good time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, Mike? Yeah, probably one of the funniest dudes I know. That's probably true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> and none other than, guys, uh, congratulations to JP. Thank you. Be on the lookout for JP. He is going to be doing a lot more stand-up comedy here in town because he's got to try out his new material for his new special that's going to be coming out. Yeah. Soon. Very, soon. very soon. So definitely be on the lookout for JP doing stand-up comedy here in the Wichita and Kansas City area. I'm expecting uh, you to hook up with Mike Baldwin in any way that you possibly can. Oh, me too. <laughs> for, for comedy. <laughs> me for comedy. too. Comedy Apparently, only. <laughs> I better not do it in a dress. No gayness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in fact, that's actually what JP's special is going to consist of, is him yeah. dressing in drag. Drag and jerking off. Oh, that's, that's pretty much it for but, 45 minutes. But not in front of a mirror, because he does not want to watch him. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, yeah. I'd rather that's, watch Derek Sumo wrestle. That's fucking great Uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so very much for doing everything that you do uh continue to follow us on our social platforms like tiktok instagram and i think uh with instagram growing um yeah that's that's uh, very important to us so thank you guys so very much and as we always like to say guys do us a favor if you like us tell your friends but if you don't like us we hope you get arrested for blowing an accident scene and hitting a police (laughs) officer but your lawyers aren't good enough to get you out of jail If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Call 1-800-241-BRAD, the (laughs) bull attorney. (laughs) Until next time, keep Keep laughing, laughing, assholes. We will see you all later. Take care.